Hey guys, I've used Fix Plus for about mm, like five, ten, five, I was going to say five, ten years, that's a big gap, like five, six years um, daily pretty much, but I haven't really talked about it too much. And so I wanted to do a video kind of showing you all different ways that I use Fix Plus um, in case you have it in your like, what the hell do I do with it, you know? So I'll, I'll show you what I do and how I do it and stuff like that. So I'll show you the three I have three of them. I've got the original one, which is almost done. I like this one the best. It smells the best, in my opinion. And I don't know. I, I gotta buy a new one, though. It lasted me for a really, really long time, but now it's almost done. Then I have this one. It's called the Yuzu, one of um, when they had that line of different scents. I have the Yuzu one. And I've got the coconut one, too, which was the last one in the store when I got it. So I'm pretty pretty happy that I was able to get it because they sold out in a day. So this one is just the regular one, which, like I said, I use the most. And the first use is something that I think everyone knows, and that's why everyone gets it, to use it in a way that I'm about to show you, which is spraying your face before and or after makeup. Um, so what I do is, you know, you kind of, you turn this over which is awesome because when you travel you can just lock it and it's not gonna spray into your clothes you could just lock it and then you unlock it so that's awesome so the first thing you do is when you when you're done with your makeup if you used a bunch of different products on your face like when i use makeup i do um concealer foundation i do a highlighter um whether it's um a cream highlighter or just a regular powder highlighter, I do a bronzer, blush, you know, regular setting powder, I do a lot of layers. And a lot of times, if I use a heavy coverage foundation, it will look a little bit cakey. It looks like you have a mask on almost. Um, I try to avoid it, which is why I use a damp beauty blender, but sometimes you really, it's hard to avoid if you do need fuller coverage. So what you do is, when you're done with your makeup, you kind of just spray your face with the Fix Plus. And it smells so refreshing. It's almost like, I don't even know how to describe the smell. I would say it smells like expensive skincare. I don't think it smells like flowers. I don't think it smells like fruits. I think it smells like expensive creams that maybe your mom or grandma uses, like the Estee Lauder, whatever. I don't know. I remember my mom used to use like the really heavily scented face creams. It smells like that to me. And it basically kind of seals the layers of your makeup together and it makes it so that it doesn't look as cakey. It's more of like a one, almost like an airbrushed kind of look to it. So that's one use. Um, <clears throat> the second use, which is what I did actually this morning, is I use it to spray my brush in order to fill in my brows. So I use this little brush which is um, the Sigma Small Angle Brush E65. Looks like this, I fill my eyebrows with that. And then for the powder, I use this. Well, I don't really use it that much. I used it this morning so that I can see how they look. Um, it's the Sigma Brow Powder in the color light. Looks like this. And I'll show you how it looks without the Fix Plus. You literally can't even can barely see like it's right here that's how it looks without fix plus if you were to um you know draw in your eyebrows and then when you spray it you kind of want to spray it a little bit further from um like you don't want to be like right next to the brush because then it'll get soaked and then um you know you're not gonna get the best the best effect so I sprayed a little bit further from the brush and then so you can see I'm kind of like dipping the brush in there. Okay. This is with Fix Plus. Um, so that's what I did with my eyebrows today. And my eyebrows are not perfect. I've done them myself since I was like 15. I got them waxed once. Horrible experience. Literally they waxed off my entire brow pretty much. I had like two lines. And so I've been doing them myself since. And as you can see, and it also makes it so it's waterproof. See, like it's not gonna come off. Um, so, which I actually, they showed that to me, that trick at a Mac store. And I've been doing it ever since whenever I run out of my Anastasia brow pomade or if I just want something different, that's what I use. Another use is when you want your eyeshadow to look darker and richer. And so I'm going to demonstrate on this green color right here. So when you... I dip my brush right in the eyeshadow 
and it looks like this. It's still, it's a pretty color, but it's just very, very light. And I'm actually dipping it in there. See? Now, when you spray your brush, and you dip it, which I, I sprayed this way. See? Like, it's just so much richer and so much, like, you know, the color is just more vibrant. Um, so that really helps when you want a nice full like make eye makeup look when you want something that's like you know you want smoky eye or you want something fancy or if you're wearing really nice colors like rich colors and you want them to really show then you can spray your brush with fix plus and it'll do the trick for you let me wipe the brush and another thing what I do when it comes to eyeshadows is when you have loose pigment I have this little sample of melon. I actually have the full size, but I'm just going to use this little sample. When you have a loose pigment, it's sometimes tough to get it on your eyelids because it falls off, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to, again, spray your brush with Fix Plus, and it's going to pick up that pigment. So it's not going to fall all over your face, all over your, you know, eye area. See? That's like one of my favorite colors, the melon um the melon pigment so so that's another use for uh for the fix plus which i think honestly i mean i don't know how it would work if you actually use just water just regular water if you put it in a spray container and you use that i don't know i haven't tried it but um but this is what i do with it and another thing i do which i only really do in the summer when it's really 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 hot out and it gets really hot in new jersey and especially if i go to florida visit my boyfriend's parents it's like 110 degrees there every day what i do is i'll take this and i'll actually take the travel size of this pop it in the freezer for like sometimes not even not overnight because it might freeze i think but i'll put it in there for like two hours and then if i go to the pool and i come back home and my face is like sweating dripping sweat everywhere i'll just spray my face with it and it's like a really cool cold mist of water and it really feels so so good on your skin and um and you can do it with other sprays too um and then i'll tell you one more thing i do with this um with the fix plus well two more things really when I do my hair, and today my hair is like on the third day, so it's looking kind of sleek and oily anyway, but when I first wash my hair and I go to sleep and I wake up, it looks really crazy. Looks like I put my finger in an outlet pretty much. It's like, bam, that was... <laughs> but um, basically what I do is when I try to brush my hair and I can't really control it, I'll splay, I'll splay play I'll spray fix plus on my hair like this and I'll kind of keep the fuzzy tamed um, I do that when I do a, a bun or if I do a tight ponytail and my hair is going crazy I'll spray fix plus on that too and one last thing that I do is um, that might not be for everyone only if you have that issue my scalp like around the front here in the winter time only it gets really really dry like really 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 dry where it's like wide and patchy sometimes it's just like really bad and it's only in the winter and i've asked my hairstylist about it um and she said that you know it's just it's just what happens when the air is dry so what i do is i would take the fix plus and i'll spray it onto where the skin is dry and it really helps to not like have the skin be flaky and like look gross it really kind of seals the skin and moisturizes the skin and also this is a vitamin water it's like a healthy i'm not sure exactly what they put in it i know it's like vitamins i think like green tea or something it's it's vitamin water so it's better than sink water you know tap water um and i'll spray it and it'll kind of like moisturize my skin and it'll make it not flaky um which is a big deal to me because you know it's like right up front you can definitely see it so it really helps with that um and yeah this is i i can't even tell you how much this is honestly i haven't bought it i think the last time i bought these were like 20 something 21 i want to say so i think this should be like 18 i'm not really sure honestly but um but it's a good investment and I don't know if um, 
you could probably do all these things with other facial sprays too. I do have a bunch of them. I have the rose spray from Maria Budescu. I have the green tea toner from Lush. I have, I have like a whole bunch of them, but I like this one the best because I know it's pure water, like vitamin water. Um, the rose spray smells a little bit too rosy for me. And then the green tea from Lush is a tonic water tonic toner water did i say tonic before i meant toner and so it's a little bit drying so i don't spray that like on my scalp and stuff i think it'd make it worse but it's definitely a good investment i would get it if i were you um you can pick up small travel sizes i know they have them at nordstrom some mac stores have them some don't depending where um but yeah definitely good investment i hope this video was helpful and I'm sure there's more uses to it than what I told you, but this is just what I use on a daily basis, pretty much. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it helpful. And if you have any questions, you can just ask me. And, um, and thank you so much for watching. Bye!